I have six pom-poms! And I found five more! Let's count how many I have all together! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! Oh, I have eleven pom-poms all together! Let's do some addition! I have two berries, but I want seven. How many more do I need to get to seven? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five! Two plus five equals seven berries! Mmm, time to make a smoothie! Owl has two dinosaurs. He puts his toys with Cody's toys. And together they have five toy dinosaurs. So, how many dinosaurs does Cody have? If we add two and three, we get five! So, Cody has three toy dinosaurs! What is eight plus six? Let's use a ten frame to figure it out. This is a ten frame because ten dots fit inside. Let's move the dots from the equation into the 10 frame. Let's put 8 in here. And only 2 more can fit. We have 10. And 4 singles. 10 plus 4 is 14. There are 12 blue pom-poms in this container. And four yellow ones in this container. How many pom-poms are there all together? Twelve plus four is... Sixteen! Let's try something else. Now there are seven pom-poms in this container. And I don't know how many there are in this container. But I do know there are eleven total. Seven plus what equals eleven? Hmm... Seven plus four equals eleven! Let's check by counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! Let's count my plane collection! There are five blue planes, four yellow planes, and six red planes. How many are there together? Five plus four plus six equals 15 planes total! My collection rules! I have eight snowballs, but three of them melted. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five! I have five snowballs! But what if more melted and all I had left was one snowball? How many melted? Let's count. If one, two, three, four melted, I would have one left. <laughs> I still have enough for a snowball fight. It's subtraction time with me, Peck. I have six buttons. But I only want four. How many should I take away? One, two. If I take away two from six, I have four buttons. Just what I need to make my sweater. Super job. This is a number line. Let's use it to count backwards. Starting from ten. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Awesome! Psst. Did you know that strawberries are my favorite food? For snack time, there were nine strawberries. And I ate six. How many are left? Let's count backwards to find out. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. There are three left. Is thirteen.
15 minus 4. Let's use a 10 frame to figure it out. This is a 10 frame because 10 dots fit inside. Let's move the dots from the equation into the 10 frame. Now we have to take away 4. Let's start with the ones that don't fit. 1, 2, 3, and this one in the frame makes 4. Which means we can do 10 minus 1. We took away 1 from the 10 frame, so the difference is 9. Oh, it's snowing! It's snowing! Look at all the snowballs I made! I had 11, but then some of them melted. So now there are 8 left. How many melted? 1, 2, 3! If we take 3 away from 11, we get 8! Paulo and I are playing with bath toys. We found 10. I want to put two in the water, and Alo wants to put two in the water. How many will be left? We have to do 10 minus two minus two to find out. 10 minus two is eight. And eight minus two is six. So 10 minus two minus two is six. <laughs> The equal sign means that things on both sides of the equation are the same. This side has 6. And this side has 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2? That's 6! So, this side has 6, and this side has 6! The equal sign was right! Both sides are the same! True means something is right and correct. False means something is wrong and incorrect. Can you spot which one is true and which one is false? 7 plus 1 equals 8. Yes, that's true! 7 plus 1 equals 10. Eh, that's not right. We found the one that is false. Good work, detective. There are ten balls. If Cody has five and Sandy has five, there are ten. Even if Cody has seven and Sandy has three, there are still ten total. And if I can play with two, that means Cody has five, I have two, and Sandy has three. That's still ten. There are ten dirty, stinky socks in my room. I only put four in the laundry basket. How many socks are still in my room? Here's two ways to figure it out. We can use subtraction. 10 minus 4 is 6. Or I can use addition. 4 plus what equals 10? 4 plus 6 equals 10. So there are still 6 stinky socks. Huh! Is the rope. Let's measure it using maracas. We have to make sure there are no gaps or overlaps when we measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The rope is as long as ten maracas. Look at this clock. The first number tells us the hour. And the second number tells us the minutes. It is one o'clock. Now it's two o'clock. Here's another type of clock. There are 12 numbers. On this clock, the small hand points to the hour. And the big hand points to the minute. Now it's three o'clock. 
this clock. The second number tells us the minutes. It is 1.30. Now check out this clock. The big hand points to the minutes. When the minute hand is here at the 12, it means the minutes are zero. Now let's move the minute hand to the six. When the minute hand is here at the six, it means the minutes are 30. Now it's 1.30. It's snack time. Yum. Many polka dots are on my new shirt. Let's count by color. The first is red. Let's mark it on the graph. The next dot is blue. We'll put it in the blue column. When we're done counting all the dots, the graph will look like this. There are six red dots, three blue dots, and four yellow dots. Most of the polka dots are red. It's a pizza party! If we cut a pizza into two equal pieces, it is cut in half. Each of these two pieces are half of the pizza. If we cut a pizza into four equal pieces, it is cut into fourths. Each of these four pieces are a quarter of a pizza. A quarter is smaller than a half. But both taste just as good. This is one box of ten crayons. This is another and another. How many crayons are there altogether? There are three boxes of ten. That means there are thirty crayons. I needed them to draw this. This is one box of ten crayons. And I have three more here. How many crayons are there altogether? There is one pack of ten and three extra crayons. There are thirteen altogether. I needed them to draw this. Look at this! I found thirty footballs outside. Here's the number thirty. This is the tens place. And this is the singles place. I have three tens and zero singles. Go team! I went berry picking and found lots of berries. This basket has two groups of ten. This basket has one group of ten and two singles. So this one has more. That means that 20 is greater than 12. And 12 is less than 20. This is the symbol we use to show greater than and less than. The mouth opens toward the bigger number. That's easy to remember. I want to eat the bigger basket of berries too. Here, let's solve this equation. We have 30 blocks, and we are adding 10 blocks. What is 30 plus 10? This is the tens place! Since we are adding one group of 10 blocks to 30, we are adding one rod to the tens place. 30 plus 10 is 40! Super pack here! Let's solve this equation! We have 30 blocks, and we are adding 10 blocks. What is 30 plus 10? This is the tens place! Since we are adding one group of 10 blocks to 30, we are adding one rod to the tens place. 30 plus 10 is 40! Da -da -da -da. Big numbers need big brains! I'm Super Pack! Let's add 30 and 23! These rods are made up of 10 blocks. There are 5 rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5! Oh, that's 50! And there are 3! 
three blocks extra. That means there are 53. Five rods and three blocks. 